In this video I'm going to show you how you can make your very own Ragnarok. Ragnarok has a level 3 transporting and level 3 kindling which makes it very useful to get early on even though it is a little bit of late game pal as you can see it is not very easy to get to early on so I'm going to show you how you can hatch it. The way I was able to do this at level 32 was I caught one of these Ellsby so you have to be careful not to get a B grade. Sometimes they'll be in a bunch of packs of B grades, but you want to find Elza B. And you can find it in any of those areas, which isn't super high level, but it is a little difficult if you don't have the right weapons. I was using a crossbow, which is underpowered, and I was able to do it. So you want one of those and a Nightwing, which is available in the starting area, daytime or nighttime. Same with LSB, daytime and nighttime. So all you gotta do is catch two of those and then put them in here to breed together and they'll give you these large scorching eggs, which I got two of them cooking right there. And they will be Ragnarok all the time. Now you are gonna need cake which as you can see I, you put it in here each cake gives you one egg and the cake is going to be a little bit harder to make because you need flour, red berries, milk, eggs, and honey. Now the milk and the eggs I'll show you how to get in a minute. The red berries you just make the berry plantains and then the flour you I'll finish harvesting this year you make these guys the little plantains and then you need a water mill and you can just make it make the flour right there now as for the milk and eggs the milk you can get from mazanera okay so mazanera you can get there during the daytime or the nighttime so it is a little bit farther away but they're easy to catch they don't really do a whole lot of fighting and the eggs you can get from chickpea who is in the starting area too if you either kill them or if you catch them you'll get the eggs from it same with the Muzanera. So if you build a pen, you can assign them to the pen and they will, well, it's not a pen, it's a ranch, and they will lay the eggs or the milk for you. Now the last thing we need is honey and that is why this is my preferred way of doing it with these two. Because Nightwing you get really early game and then Ellsby you need to get the honey anyway. So you can see the possible drops for LSB are honey and Elizabeth's staff and the B grade is just honey but B grade is farming one and LSB isn't farming so when you're out there if you get one of the B grades you can farm it to get the honey drops and then the LSB you just get while you're out there which is what I did which is why I have B grade there and the LSB here and that's why it's my favorite way of getting a Ragnarok I think it's the easiest way. So whatever the possible drops are, are what you're going to get whenever you defeat them or capture them. Now the bees can be difficult to take down, so I want to show you guys how to do it so that there's no surprises. Alright, so where you want to go is up here. So that's starting area, that's our base, which you can see in the last video. That's where you want to go. So it might take you a little while to find an LSB. You want to watch out because they will, well the grades will explode like that. Yeah, so once you've got its attention, if you can keep it without the other the grades, that's ideal because they, like I said, they will come at you and explode. So you're going to see that one. Going after my teammate. You can see how it's... I'm going to call him back, and you can see that massive damage just did. That's why you want to get it separate. That's why I'm showing you this. So we're going to call him back. We're going to go to a Megasphere. See it's not... Super great catch rate. But we're just going to keep throwing balls at it. I hate that turn speed. Yeah, so once we, boom, that's how you do it. So you said so you want to make sure you watch out for these guys because they will explode. So now that you have all the items, we have to talk about where you can make a cake. 
you cannot make it in a fireplace you have to make it in the cooking pot so just come down here and make as many as you need yeah one tip i did want to show you is that the cake if you grab it it's got a 20 minute timer on it and if you come to the fridge where you would think you would put cake it has a much higher timer and if you put it in just a wooden crate it's got a 20 minute timer still but if you come to here and you put the cake in the timer doesn't seem to move so you should be able to put it in there and have it last forever now that you've done all that you come collect your egg hopefully they're not there to pick up okay so this is the one that these guys made so we're going to intubate that real quick and we got the ragnahawk which it should be guaranteed to be. Now we got another two here. We're gonna hatch. Both gonna be Ragnarok. So as you can see, you can definitely do this very quickly. Getting Ragnarok's this way. Now, if you don't collect their eggs right away, that's not a problem. They'll just continue laying. So we're gonna take the four that were bred from the two Ragnarok's and we're gonna intubate all of them. That way we can see exactly what we're gonna get out of it. Uh, now we're going to open the eggs that we got from these Ragnahawks and we're going to see exactly what we're going to get out of it. So this one, we got a Ragnahawk with nothing really that good on it. It's got work slave, so that's okay, but nothing really else. Another Ragnahawk with just Dainty Eater. And another Ragnahawk with Workaholic and Dainty Eater, which that could be useful. And then another Ragnahawk. So once you get your two Ragnahawks, it appears that you're basically guaranteed to get more Ragnahawks out of the eggs. Now the problem is you get the Ragnahawk saddle at level 37. So despite them being really good in the base, you unlock it at level 37 saddle for it. So you can't take full advantage of it till you're level 37. But that's not a huge deal as you have a couple other ones that you can use while you're waiting for it. You have the Van Wyrm saddle, which you unlock at level 21, or the Nightwing saddle, which you unlock at level 15. Now the other cool thing about the bees are the worker bee skill on B grade. While in team, Elsbeth's stats will be increased, and then Elsby, Elsby, when fighting together, stats will increase the more B grades are in your team. So if you have one Elsby and four B grades, that could be very powerful. So with just Elsby in my party, the attack is 352. Now with four regards in my party and the Elzebi jumps up to 520 from 350. The fence goes from 268 to 396. That's plus 48 percent defense and plus 48 percent attack. And that's just with B command level one. If I were to go and level that up, that would increase more. Same with all of the worker B passives so that could be i'm not sure what the max it could get to is but that could be very powerful so if you were to build it with muscle head lucky ferocious and hooligan that's an additional 80 percent damage on top of the already 48 percent and then if you were to level up the partner skills you're already at 128 percent damage so once you level them up possibly hit 150 maybe 200 i'm not sure what the maximum it'll allow you to go to is so if you're at 352 at level 28 looking at 150 percent damage if you build it that way and that's what it brings you up to you're looking at 880 damage if you enjoyed this video or learned something new liking and subscribing would be much appreciated feel free to comment with your favorite way of making ragnahawk and what you guys want to see for my next video i'll have my socials linked in the description if you wanted to follow me there thanks for watching